Hey everyone, hi, I'm Angela, someone with gray hair, and today I'll be reviewing Rise, a beautiful bob in the color Silver Mist, straight ahead on Silver Linings. Today's wig review is in partnership with The Wig Company. Did you know that The Wig Company has been helping people find quality alternative hair for over 50 years? They do offer brand names such as Aesthetica, Gabor, and others, but they also offer their own house brands allowing you believable, budget-friendly, and beautiful wigs to choose from. So let's get acquainted with Rise, beautiful silver mist color from the wig company, straight ahead on Silver Linings. Well, here is how your wig from the wig company is going to come to you, wrapped in a plastic bag. They do enclose a wig cap for you. She has netting all around to keep her from moving around. Beautiful color. For a quick inspection. Absolutely love the color. Very nice color. The tissue to keep her shape while she's in the mail. And then let me just remove the tag. Tag is removed. Silver Mist, also known as with the wig company 5660. So now let's take a look at the inside of the cap before I put her on. She's very light, very, very light. So she has the velvet covered hairline there. I'm not feeling any permatease. So there might be a teeny tiny bit right there at the crown. If there is, it's negligible. The, the specifications don't say anything about permatease. She is open wefted, as you can see. She has the Velcro adjusters. Feels like she's got a good amount of stretch. So Velcro adjusters, both sides. Open ear tabs with a stay, a really nice metal stay on the ear tab. Very sturdy. And then the covered nape in the back with, of course, the other Velcro adjuster on the other, on the other side. All right, so let's take a look and pop her on. She does have bangs. She's nicely layered. Okay, so she's all shaken out. Let's give her a comb before I pop her on my head. Yeah, it doesn't look like any any uh, fibers are going any weird way. So it looks like she has almost a shorter back and a longer front. Okay. These fibers, I would not say that they're silky. They're somewhat dry. I just want to try to get, get it away from the cap. Set her fibers free. You can see all those layers there. And I think that they're beautifully done. Uh, I think... Let me just keep setting the fibers free. Get them up off of the cap. And I'll do it once I get her where I want her. I'll do a spin for you. Okay, now let's do something here. So I will say then, just just uh my lighting's doing weird things, isn't it? Um she is not a put it on out of the box and go. I think that you're going to have to do, although I do like her, you're gonna to have to do a little bit of, of styling with her. Here on the on the crown, just so you can see. So the part pretty much is over to the left. Now I'm wondering if it could be just just teased a little bit there, just for a little volume. So they've got the bangs going pretty much straight down face framing sides. Okay, so I think I might have pulled her back a little bit too much. So you can see how she's starting. She's just starting to come alive now. But I think really if you pull out these, pull out those layers. In other words, don't try to make it look perfect. Pull out the layers. If the bangs are too long, just pull the wig back just a tiny bit more further on your head. That'll take care of that. Or, of course, you could you could, um, you could trim those bangs. The cap is very stretchy. The cap is very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Love the cap. 
Yeah, we do have some box hair going on right there. There's some box hair. I think this side looks really nice. Yes, so don't be afraid to mess her up. Yeah, so I think just a little, just a little trim here or there. So very, very nicely layered. These little wispy things, they, they just need to be curled a tiny bit more just so that they'll hold their face framing shape. The fit feels very average, almost average to large. She doesn't feel tight on my head. Uh, she doesn't feel like, like she would fall off. I would absolutely be able to wear all day. I don't even think I'd have to use any It Stays. If you follow me, I'm always using It Stays so nothing rides back. I might put it on if I'm going to have the wig on all all day long but glasses go on absolutely no problem at all i think the color is absolutely stunning spot on if you love if you love the combination of silver gray and white let me see if i can comb this a little bit more in the back sometimes you just have to have a wig on for a, a few minutes just to see how she lies play with her a little bit I don't see any wefting back there. Beautifully cut. Beautifully, beautifully cut. Again, just right there. Take a roller and give her a curl. Or I may even, I'm, I might even trim those. But maybe not. I would just have to see how it looked after I curled her. But no permatease, so even without the permatease, she's cut so beautifully, you're you're going to be able to get a little bit of a little bit of lift, a little bit of movement. Okay, so just know that she she may arrive to you with some box hair. That's okay. Uh, let her sit on a uh, on a wig head or sometimes I put a drape a towel over a lamp and then I'll put her over the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't have any other surfaces. Okay, this heat tool that I have goes up to 345, actually goes to 375, but I'm going to put it just on 345, just to be on the safe side. But what do you think? What do you think? For a wig that's it's not going to break the bank, you don't want to curl per se. You just want to, you want the hair just to have a bend in it, just a bend. Okay, well that helped a little bit. Let's take a look at the sides. Now you could pull out your own hair. There it is right there. There's the there's the side of the wig underneath the ear tabs and you can see there's my my white hair. So I absolutely could pull some of my own hair out and do that for you. This is kind of looking like the the length of the edge of the wig, isn't it? So that would be very believable. So you could do that. But I would definitely have to give her more of a curl. But there's my own hair. So it incorporates very, very well. Try that one more time. I'll hold it for about 30 seconds. So there you go. So if the wind blows, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, this side is this side perfect. This side just needs a little bit more help, but just make sure you get right into that cap and dig those fibers right away from, get them free. Get your comb right in there and, and comb in the opposite direction, okay? Then make the hair lay down again, and then you can go in and you can kind of mess her up. My advice would be keep her messy. Keep her messy. Either cut it or curl that bottom. Bend that, re-bend that hair. Let's take her outside. If you don't have bio hair, you certainly could wear it just the way she comes from the retailer. There's the edge of the wig right there, and there's the edge of the wig right there on the other side. She rose to the occasion. <laughs> I think I like her the best with this really striking um, red headband with the little sparkles 
there with a little glitter in there. And um, remember that you can roll her in. You could even trim that away if you didn't like that. But I think if you just rolled it under, you would really love it uh, because it really does give it more of a, a contemporary look, but still a traditional look. You can pull her back, pick her up, do a few things with her as I've just shown you. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening whenever it is that you're watching this. And always remember, look for the silver linings. They're still there. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>